Growing up on a farm, there's really nothing in the world like it. Um, and to see my daughter being able to do some of the same things that I did as a child is really a lot of fun. Nestled amidst beautiful rolling hills and natural springs near the quaint panhandle town of Mariana is Sindale Farms. Dale and Cindy Eads' 467-acre family dairy is home to 500 Jersey and Jersey Cross cows and young stock. And from the outset, environmental stewardship has been at the forefront of its operations. When we looked for a place to farm, uh, we wanted a place that made environmental sense. The, the, the property is a, uh, a real diverse property. It's got, got all kinds of uh, different topography and, and, and ecosystems on it. And, and to a man of those attending, they said, this is a great spot. Dale and his wife, Cindy, have been working in the dairy business for more than 35 years. Sindale, a play on their names, has been producing milk for the Southeast since 1994. In 2010, their daughter, Megan, and son-in-law, Brad Austin, returned to the farm and now serve as managers. It also meant adding two doctors. Megan's a veterinarian, and Brad has a PhD from the University of Florida in cattle reproduction and nutrition. And so Brad and I had the opportunity uh, two years after I graduated with my veterinary degree to come back um, and we uh, jumped upon it and we came home to farm side by side with my parents. Upon returning to the family farm, the couple began to find ways to reduce costs and enhance the performance of the dairy they implemented an intensive rotational grazing system that allows the cattle free access to a fresh grass paddock daily. This approach allows the Austins to decrease feed costs while improving the farm's entire ecosystem. The rotational grazing has allowed us to improve our soils, build the organic matter, and bring back uh, clovers and things that would not grow in our soils that had been farmed pretty hard before we purchased the land. But we're getting back to a very healthy soil balance and uh, our forage production is immense. Combining grazing and feedings allows them to maintain herd size and effectively manage the farm to create a land that's sustainable for years to come. Sindale was one of the first farms to participate in the state's dairy best management practices and has taken advantage of many environmental stewardship programs to implement nutrient management programs. Enrollment in the Environmental Quality Incentives Program includes recycling wastewater for irrigation and manure as natural fertilizer, reducing the need for chemicals. What they're doing now is sustainable. Their grandchildren can continue to do this. The, the, the swamp will be clear, the water will be drinkable. Located in the middle of the property is Pearl Spring, through careful stewardship, the dairy has worked with the Federal Wildlife Habitat Incentives Program to preserve this natural feature, giving home to an abundance of wildlife. Our farm has a uh, large variety of wildlife that you could find any day. We have the typical deer, turkey. Uh, we do have a lot of birds. The Audubon Society uh, comes to our farm every December for the Christmas bird count. Very subtle. I think it's good. Like it. While milk is still king, the dairy is also now home to some of Florida's finest frozen treats. It's the way they share their product with the community that really sets them apart. So we'd always wanted to do something where we could tell the local people in our community that it was our milk. As long as you're selling fluid milk, it's co-mingled. So, you know, we could say, well, if you go to Winn-Dixie or you go to Walmart, you might get a little of it, but it won't be all our milk. Southern Craft Creamery was founded by Megan's sister, Lauren, and brother-in-law, Zach O'Brien as a way to connect with consumers and share their farm story. Today, the creamery is operated by Dale and Cindy, who continue to produce the handcrafted ice cream in a variety of unique local flavors. Our honey comes from Florida, our strawberries come from Florida, our pecans come from Florida. Any time that we can put that farmer on our carton too, we try to also help those produce producers get their name out there so people know where those products are coming from. While the brand enjoys a following across the Southeast, the family is currently in the process of opening an ice cream scoop shop in downtown Mariana to further share their ice cream and farm-to-table story. 
So our most popular flavors at Southern Craft are the salty sweet combinations. Um, for the first several years it was always salty caramel um, and actually last year our favorite um, uh, best seller was salted dark chocolate. So apparently the general consumer um, loves a salty sweet combination. While adding to the dairy's bottom line, the family hopes the new scoop shop also adds value to the community. The goal is to help the small town of Mariana feel like a destination for both locals and the thousands of tourists who pass by daily on nearby Interstate 10. For Sindale, all roads lead back to their mission of improving their community and protecting their environment. If I was gonna live next to a dairy, this would be the dairy I'd live next to. So that's, that's the kind of people they are. The farm is essentially where we live. We spend the majority of our time there. Uh, my daughter spends the majority of her time there. I'm drinking the water, I'm breathing the air. So I want that to be the cleanest, safest environment for myself and my family that there could be. Also, our goal is to improve that environment. Uh, we've been taking control of a piece of land and I do not want to ruin that. I want to make that better so that when our daughter takes uh, comes on to the farm that she will have something that is hopefully a significantly better place than it is today.